everyone, and thank you for joining today's webinar. I'm excited to explore an important part of test management that can boost the success of our project, test matrix. In the next few minutes, we will explore how understanding and applying test matrix can lead to better testing outcomes, improve project quality, and enhance overall efficiency. So a few words about myself. Uh, I'm Rabi Arabi. I have extensive experience in software and system testing, in particular in the automotive sector, with a focus on test processes and both strategic and operational test management. I lead connected vehicle testing services and provide consultancy to clients seeking to enhance their testing maturity. I've collaborated with various international clients on large-scale projects throughout my career, delivering valuable insights and guidance. Uh, additionally, I've dedicated time to mentoring and advising test engineers and managers, assisting them in career development and identifying targeted training opportunities. I'm also contributing to the industry through the authorship of various testing related articles on LinkedIn. So basically my vision is to be recognized industry leader in software and system testing, driving innovation and excellence by effectively applying structured methodologies and emerging technologies. So today, as the author of this chapter, I'm here to walk you through the section on test matrix from the ISTQB Advanced Level Test Management 3.0. This chapter is essential for everyone aiming to enhance their understanding of how to use matrix to improve testing practices. So let's get started. Let's try to understand what are test matrix. So imagine with me filling your car with gas, but never thinking about where you're going or how fast you can drive or how far you can travel, right? Without a clear plan and measurement, you won't know if you will reach your destination efficiently or if you run out of fuel along the way. So basically in software development, test matrix serve a similar purpose. They help us understand our progress, efficiency, and effectiveness. So without test matrix, we cannot be sure if our testing processes are working well, if we are on track to meet our goals, if we are using our resources wisely. So test matrix give us the insights we need to ensure our project stays on course and reach their intended outcome successfully. So in other words, test metrics are quantitative measures used to assess the, the effectiveness and efficiency of the testing process. They provide insight into various aspects of the test activities, such as progress, quality, cost, and performance. So by analyzing these metrics, we can make informed decision, identify areas for improvement, and ensure that our testing efforts align with project goals. So <clears throat> let's see, what will you learn in this chapter? You will learn how metrics can drive test objectives and how to control test progress with precision. Gain insights on analyzing test results to craft reports that empower stakeholders to make informed decisions. So why test matrix are so valuable? Like I've listed few key benefits of test matrix and I'll help you understand how they can help improve your testing activities. So test matrix are invaluable for everyone involved or interested in a project or program, benefiting internal and external stakeholders as well as the testing team. So test matrix, provide critical insight, enabling informed decisions throughout the development cycle. Matrix streamline test process, improving planning, execution, monitoring, and reporting. So effective use of matrix ensure optimal allocation of resources, reducing waste and increasing efficiency. Tracking matrix help identify and address defect early, leading to more robust and reliable software. 
Metrics allow for better forecasting and planning, reducing uncertainties, and ensure smooth project execution. So this slide presents a variety of multi-dimensional measures. We mainly measure the effectiveness and efficiency of test management activities utilizing product, project, and process matrix. More information about how to measure effectiveness, efficiency, and satisfaction can be found in the expert level. So it's crucial to verify the defined matrix are relevant and valuable to your project and its associated objectives. Combining matrix from many categories is valuable. For example, among the main activities of test management, we may look at the following indicators of success, such as requirement coverage, product risk coverage, accumulated number of resolved defects versus accumulated number of total defects, actual versus planned estimation for testing activities, um, actual versus planned cost of testing, total number of planned Im implemented, executed, passed, failed, blocked, and skip test cases, and many, many others depending on the project objectives. So I'd like to provide some key takeaways to help you define, apply, and report on test metrics. Always remember to start small and simple, ensure relevance, and review frequently. So ensure that the metrics you use are directly related to your project objectives. So you measure what truly matters. Simplify. This makes it easier to understand and manage, allowing you to focus on key areas without getting overwhelmed. Leverage software tools to collect and analyze data efficiently, saves you time and effort. Streamline repetitive tasks, reducing manual work and chance of error. Make the information clear and easy to understand for everyone involved. Promote openness about how metrics are used and interpreted, building trust and accountability. So let's have a look into a practical example to better understand the impact of test metrics. So let's look at a software development project for an e-commerce platform. The project team was struggling with delays and high number of bugs reported after each release. So the testing process was not very structured and there was a lot of guesswork involved in measuring progress and quality. So basically the major problem was the lack of visibility into the testing process. Without clear metrics, the team had difficulty understanding which areas were tested and which are not. So this led to missed defects, obviously, ineffective testing practices, and ultimately frequent post-release issues. Additionally, the testing team struggled to communicate their progress and software quality to stakeholders. So let's, let's check the outcome after applying test matrix. So to address these challenges, the team decided to implement a set of key test metrics. They began by defining a few simple and relevant metrics. So, example of that, test coverage, defect density, test execution time, defect reopen rate. By integrating these metrics into their testing processes, the team was able to make informed decision and improve their practices. They use the insight to mainly focus on high risk areas, improve efficiency and enhance communication. So as a result, the team saw a significant improvement in software quality. The number of defects reported after release decreased by 40% and the time to complete testing cycle was reduced by 25%. So the increased visibility and better communication helped the team build trust with stakeholders and deliver more reliable product. Overall, applying these metrics led to a more efficient testing processes, 
and a more successful project outcome. So dear colleagues, now it's time to put knowledge into practice. Get yourself familiar with test matrix, integrate them into your test plan, and continuously review and refine your approach. Embrace the power of test matrix to drive quality and efficiency in your testing process. Start today, right, and see how they can elevate the success of your project. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Here, the first question. What that test matrix do I need for my project? So basically, as we discussed during this webinar, it's mainly related to your project objectives. What do you want to achieve, right? So again, the recommendation here, do not copy matrix from one project to another without analyzing the relevance, right? As we discussed, the linkage to mainly project objectives. What options do I have to visualize the value of, for my matrix? So the best thing you can do, leverage and use dashboards of your test management tool or application lifecycle management, right? Try to automate as much as you can, as we discussed, and this would be very beneficial. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, Thank you for your attention. I hope you find these insights into test matrix valuable for your work. All the best and thank you.